Hey there! Um, here's Caryotomentosa and the Juglandaceae. This is our mocker nut hickory or white hickory. The fruit type is a nut. Um, the specific epithet means densely woolly. Um, it was formerly known as Caria alba. Um, the Juglandaceae is the family that we find most of our hickories in, um, but is referred to as the walnut family. Um, wood and wildlife use for this plant are very similar to pig nut hickory, and the nuts can be eaten by humans. So to identify this plant, I typically go up close and I look at each of the leaves. I notice that this is a compound leaf. If I pluck it off, you can see that this whole thing is the leaf. It is alternately arranged on the plant. Um, it has seven leaflets on the rachis of the leaf. And if you look at the rachis, this long stem in the middle, you'll see that it has these fuzzy hairs on it. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but when you get up close to it and find it, you'll know it's mockernut because you'll see this fuzzy hairs and you can smell it. And it has this really strong pungent smell. Like if you've ever picked up like an unripened walnut, that's kind of what mockernut hickory leaves smell like. Um, the next thing that's easy to identify this plant with are its nuts. Um, these nuts are round and they have four sections on them. They're typically about an inch to an inch and a half long. Um, and the difference between this and our other mockernut hickories is that the shell is very thick. So if you're looking at that, it has a very thick, almost like quarter inch shell. And it's called mockernut because the when you look at the actual nut when it's all put together, it looks like the nut inside would be a lot bigger and a lot more tasty. But because of the thick shell, it's kind of tricking you. It's mocking you into thinking that it's a much better nut than it is. So that's Mockernut Hickory.